Okay, look at that. Oh, 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 what is going on? What is going on? No. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'm going to try to fix the GDQ2 3D printer again. Let's scratch today's troubleshoot. I have never had good luck with GDQ2 3D printers. If you saw my last year video on the Q1 Pro, I have trouble with it. That is our filament right there. I tried to fix it. I could not really fix it. Uh, the print quality wasn't that good. It was okay, but it wasn't that good. It keeps clogging. The worst part is this Q1 Pro loves to clog. He keeps having problem with the extruder, the nozzle, and everything along those lines. I couldn't really get a clean print. And the Q2 is even worse. The Q1 Pro, I can start print and I can finish some print. But the Q2 here, I cannot do any printing at all. Um, it clogs on the first couple of tries. I print with PDG carbon fiber and it clogs. And it just has been clogging up until this point. I will show you right here the process of me trying to clean the nozzle. Okay, so let's take a look at why the Chidi Q2 keeps clogging. If you look at the three printed parts right here, you can definitely see that it's clogged because it cannot print and um, it's very bad taking off for you guys. Even the first layer, you can see through it, which is very bad. PDG and PLA are pretty simple to print, but it keeps clogging and I have no idea why. I'll show you how to um, maintenance the nozzle, the print head, everything along those lines. So in order to take this off, we basically just pry it off like this. Well, you need fingernails. Mine's all going back. And then you just pop it off from the top, just like that. It's a good thing that there's no wire attached to this. We can see in there that there's still the filament. I cannot push this in. So what I'm gonna do is remove these two screws right here just to see what is happening on the inside so that we don't have to remove everything. For these two screws, you will need the smallest and wrench that comes with the pack. And then we can just try to unscrew that. I think they use cheap screw. The head here is kind of stripped out, so it's really hard to get a grip and unscrew them, especially this one down here. Oh my god, it's like stripped out. Let me get my other tool. Hey, there we go. I used my own Allen wrench and it fit, which is very nice. I love these Allen wrench, man. This whole pack is from Craftsman and it's really good. I'll leave a link down below if you are interested. <sighs> Do you hate it when it's stuck like this and you can never pull it apart? You can see through that tiny hole right there, the film is still in there, but there's nothing wrong with it, so why did it not extrude and it got clogged? Could be a clog in the nozzle here. Let me heat this up and try to take off the nozzle. I'm gonna heat it up to 190 degrees just to soften the material enough so that we can try to extrude or retract or whatever we can with it. Okay, it has reached 190, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm just gonna manually extrude it by pressing on the screen here. Oh, look at that. It's grinding, it's grinding the filament. So the clog, it is down here, it's not up there. It could be heat creep. That's one thing I'm thinking right now. Because the nozzle here is hot, it, so it got hot from here. And then in the heat block here, the filament gets hot here. Then it cools down, and now it's clogged. So if I try to extrude, it just does not work. What if I retract? Okay, I can pull it back. Extrude again and stuck. We track everything back. And then I'm gonna take off the nozzle. I can move the bed without homing. <laughs> that is next level amazing. Seven millimeter socket. Let's get this off. There we go. I think I should have retract this first. Ooh, look at that. It's clogged in there. It looks like it's clogged somewhere in here. I can do the other method where I heat up a rod and try to push it through. That's one way to do it. Then I'm gonna push it in here. Melt the filament. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that it's infused with the filament in there. Then I can heat up the nozzle. Just enough so that the filament inside has melted. I'm gonna wait like a second just for everything to cool down. And then I'm gonna try to pull it out. Hey, look at that, we got a little piece out. Put that down, clean this off, and then repeat it one more time. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Push in the rod. Let it sit there. Once you feel like the rod is infused with the filament, heat up the nozzle again. Wait for this to cool down. Now that it has cooled down, we can pull out this. 
And look at that. We got nothing now. Repeat one more time, and this time I'm just going to push all the way in. Okay. I think I have cleared the clog. And then we will screw it in and see test to see if that fixes it. An easier way to do this is just to um, replace the nozzle. That's the easiest way to do. But if your nozzle is still new and you want to reuse it, this is one of the methods that you can use to try and see if you can clear the nozzle clog. Okay, it keeps pushing out some filament, but it keeps getting stuck. I'm gonna increase the nozzle temperature to 240, just so that it's hot enough. Okay, look at that. Oh, 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 what is going on? What is going on? No, what? No, stop extruding. Uh, GD3 printer. Why is GD3 printer so, so hard to work with? I never had this problem with all the 3D printers. Cut this off right here. Yeah, and I'm just gonna pull it off the bottom. Let's see if I can pull this out. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this cover back and then screw this in just so that filament does not bend like that again. Okay, now let's extrude. There we go. Look at that. Now it's extruding. Yeah, we fixed it. We fixed the problem. Now the filament extruding like normal. Are you working on a project and don't have the power to power that project? Well, here I am. Scratch 3 battery. It ranges from 1S, 2S, 3S, and all the way to 4S battery pack 18650. High quality pack from Scratch 3 battery. If your project requires all types of battery, I got you covered. All types of connection, I got you covered. All the way from XT60 to JSTXH 2.54 millimeter, JSTXM Dean connectors, all types of connector, balance charger, anything you need. Scratch 3D battery have it. Link will be in the description down below on my eBay store. Okay, I found one feature that is really good on the Chidi Q2 here. It's the one that you can manually extrude. With all the motors unlocked, you can do that. Look at that. So now, if I want to extrude, I don't have to go to filament, click load, and I have to go through all the steps that they say, do this, push this, are you okay? Are you ready? Keep pushing it and then, okay, I'm extruding. Now you, what you can do is just push it all the way in. Click about 50 millimeter if you want to, do 100 millimeter, and then just click extrude. Then you can just go back here, push in the filament. When you feel it goes through, you just let it go. Look at that. And now it's going through. Extrude one more time. Look at that. That is so nice. So that was the second nozzle that was clogged. I have no idea why GDQ23 printer keeps clogging and I just cannot get any clean prints with it. Well, well, would you look at that? Another finished benchy on the GDQ2. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I have no idea why. Oops. GDQ23 printer always does this. As you saw right there, this was the print benchy. This is PETG, and this is the quality. When it starts to print, I look here and like, oh my gosh, I know this is gonna be a disaster. And then about halfway through it, it just clogged or whatever it does, and this is the result. The first couple layer, it printed pretty well, and then it just, boom, look at that, it just clogged. And now I cannot print with the 3D printer again. I have been unclogging the GDQ2 for like so many times now. The time I spent with the GDQ2 is, guess what? Unclogging, right? I have just been unclogging the 3D printer over and over again. I did replace the nozzle one time and I got a couple of clean prints, but after a couple of times, it just started clogging like this again. I have no idea why the Q2 Pro I received is very, very bad. To be honest, $500 for the Chidi Q2 and that's what I get. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's worth the price at all. The Cobra S1 on the other hand, right? I have been printing with that 3D printer for a long time and I had no clog. I only clogged one time of using TPU Air because it's super flexible and it's just keep retracting and stuff like that. Only one time clog and it never happens again. But for the Q2 3D printer, it clogs all the time and I have no idea why. So if anybody know what is happening 
wrong with the Q2? Definitely let me know. It could be quality control. It could be the 3 printer itself. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a Q2 and you have the same problem as me, let me know in the comments down below. Do you have the same problem? Or is your Q2 printing really well? If you haven't yet become a member of the YouTube channel, it helps me tremendously. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on 3D printing.